My name's Duncan Rush. I'm a builder, an artist, and I live in the Durban Valley. I'm actually an accidental builder, is I started building my own house when I came to Tasmania. And because I've built quite a unique house out of shipping containers, I got quite a lot of people coming to look at it. And they'd say, oh, that's really nice. Can you come and do this for me? I've lived in Brisbane briefly, Cairns. Then we moved across to WA, where I worked in the mines up in the Kimberleys. So I visited Perth once every three weeks. And then we moved to here once I got injured on the mine. Leaving the mine site had positive and negative effects on my life. I came here, which is a positive. The ongoing pain from the injury is a negative. I don't sleep particularly well. I sleep in short bursts. And then you wake up and your mind is racing, which one of the things that helped me was when I started doing the art. The process of becoming an artist evolved from me making things firstly for my house because I didn't see things that I liked to buy so I decided I'd make my own and reusing things that came out of the house to make artistic things and then also seeing potential in things that I had as offcuts and things like that and then other people started calling it art and saying I should make more. The sunflowers that I make are nearly everybody's favourite because of the colours. They're made from light fittings that I saw at the tip shop and immediately saw sunflowers in them. I quite often make animals out of as it, reusable things. I've got a big spider that's in the trees that is made from light fittings, uh, galvanised pipe and Rio. The making of art helps me deal with my injury by taking my mind away from the ongoing pain and it also helps me at night time when I don't sleep very well and I will often think about projects that I want to do, projects that I have going, how to make things better and it often calms my mind and helps me get back to sleep. I admire the fact that he can wake up in the morning, every morning, with a smile on his face and say, oh, I've got this great idea, I'm going to go and put it into practice. There's always a story behind his pieces, his artwork, um, and they're always large, always large. <laughs> this area is what I lovingly call the art supply store, where my wife calls it the junk pile. When I go and get things from the tip shop that I don't have an immediate use for, this is where I bring them to store for later use and I'm quite lucky now that a lot of people know that I sculpt out of steel so if they have excess of something or something that they don't need anymore they'll ring me and say do you want this big fire ant on that side I'm working towards my first exhibition here at the Black Swan Cafe in New Norfolk it's a great opportunity for me and hopefully it'll be a good space to put some of my bigger art pieces in and around the cafe the exciting thing about the changes in New Norfolk uh, in terms of the art scene is finally all the artists that um, are scattered around the Derwent Valley independently creating fantastic works with uh, you know, just incredible practices are starting to um, connect. The opportunities here are <laughs> vast and numerous. I've been lucky that I've met a lot of people through different jobs and they say, do you want to come and try this? and I'll always say yes.